From the distant planet of Triforia comes a Zord that's quick as lightning and strong as steel. A Zord that makes danger watch out for it and its pilot, Pyramidus. Hello everyone, I'm Sentai5 and welcome to Megazord Formation! Welcome back to Megazord Formation. Last time we talked about the Red Battle Zord, so if you haven't checked out that video yet, as usual, the link is in the description below. Today we continue the Zeozord system with the Gold Ranger's personal Zord, Pyramidus, and another Zeozord not directly part of the system, which is Warrior Wheel. So let's get into it. The massive interstellar traveling Zord, Pyramidus, was the personal carrier Zord of the Gold Ranger, Trey, Lord and Defender of the planet Triforia. The giant pyramid stands at a height of 50 meters, which is 164 feet. It also has a width of 75 meters, which is 246.1 feet. It can fire a laser from its tip and shoot lightning bolts at its enemies. In addition to flying, it can also roll on the ground when activated by the Gold Ranger's Zeonizer Crystal. Quick note, I say Zeonizer Crystal because that's basically what it is in the O-Ranger footage. And also the Gold Ranger's powers is compatible with the Zeo Crystal powers, so makes sense to say that. When summoned by the Gold Ranger, the Golden Power Staff fires into the dark sky, uncloaking the giant pyramid as it descends. In O-Ranger, it was known as King Pyramider. When the Zeozords just aren't enough, Pyramidus acts as a carrier zord and houses the main five Zeozords, Red Battle Zord, as well as the Super Zeo Megazord sometimes, to form the Zeo Ultra Zord in two different modes, both involving the sides folding out to form the arms and the middle section pushing out. The first mode is the rarely used carrier mode. It has a length of 140 meters, which is 459.3 feet, a width of 75 meters, which is 246.1 feet, and a speed of 150 kilometers per hour. It rolls into action firing multiple blasts from all the Zeozords, destroying its enemies. The main Zeo Ultra Zord configuration has it standing up, towering over its enemies, with all the Zords or even the Super Zeo Megazord slotting into the back to form the Zeo Ultra Zord Warrior Mode. The Zeo Ultra Zord in Warrior Mode stands at a height of 102 meters, which is 334.6 feet, with the same length and width of 75 meters, which is 246.1 feet, and a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. I'm not even sure how that's even possible because in Warrior Mode it's immobile and only the arms move up, so I don't know, I don't get it. It fires massive energy blasts, obliterating its enemies. In O-Ranger, both modes were known as King Pyramider, Carrier, and Battle Formations. But wait, there's more. The Warrior Wheel was another Triforian Zord by origin. It was a giant wheel that could transform into its own Warrior Mode. Its wheel mode has a length and height of 17 meters, which is 55.8 feet, a width of 10 meters, which is 32.8 feet, and a weight of 2,500 tons. This mode was mainly used to summon the Zord and when the Super Zeo Megazord would roll it as a part of its finisher. When summoned by the Zeo Rangers, it would fire from the Zeo Zord Holding Bay Cannon. Its transformation to Warrior Mode is quite simple as the arms fold out from the sides and the legs and head fold up from the back. It stands at a height of 34 meters, which is 111.5 feet, a width of 28.5 meters, which is 93.5 feet a weight of 2,500 tons, and a power of 100,000 horsepower. It is incredibly agile and able to run and jump distances, having explosive kicks and punches, as well as a tornado spin of energy. It transforms back into warrior mode and unleashes massive energy at its enemies during the final attack. In O-Ranger, it was known as Tackle Boy. The designs of Pyramidus and Warrior Wheel were created by Plex, assumed by Suyoshi and Onaka. The design pretty much retained from the artwork, with a few variations to the head. As for Warrior Wheel, it had a completely different look compared to what we got. It had the Red Ranger star on the body, pretty reminiscent of the Super Zero Zords. Originally, its design was meant to be a robot mode of the Defender Wheel, which makes sense mainly because there were two wheel-themed mecha in O-Ranger, but instead it was obviously changed to the football motif robot that we got. The Pyramidus cockpit was gray with a touch of blue from the light orb in the center, with a glass panel in front and seat in the middle for the Gold Ranger to sit in. It can also fit the rest of the Zeo team if need be. It was a much more spacious cockpit compared to the Zeo Zords. Warrior Wheel had no cockpit as it was autonomous. Now, let's move on to the lore. It's unknown how many years back Pyramidus was created, but it has its origins on the planet of Triforia. It's capable of space travel as the Gold Ranger travels with it to Earth on multiple occasions. During its first travel to Earth, he blasted his really cool theme song. Well, 
Well, maybe not, but the editing of the episode makes it seem like it. There, it would assist the Zero Rangers in various battles, eventually catching sights of the Varrocks bounty hunters, seeking to destroy the Gold Ranger in Pyramidus, eventually shooting him down where he'd landed and was damaged on the waters of Aquatar. Due to this battle, the Gold Ranger powers had to be transferred before being lost forever, with Jason returning to temporarily take on those powers, assisting his old friends and new ones. When the powers had to be returned back to Trey, Pyramidus went back to Triforia. In O Ranger, King Pyramider existed as far back as 600 million years ago, when King Ranger, Riki, fought the Machine Empire, Baranoia, on Pangaea. He then went into a suspended animation on King Pyramider and left Earth where eventually he would return years later to assist the O-Ranger team. King Pyramider would return again as battle formation in the climax of superhero Senki. Warrior Wheel was created on Triforia and sent by Trey due to Pyramidus being unavailable at the time for a few days since it was going through some repairs. It would then mainly be used by the Super Zero Megazord in various battles throughout the years. In O-Ranger, Tackle Boy was created by UAOH and was first used against Barra Skunk when all the other O-Ranger mecha were rendered useless against its gas. It would then assist the team many more times throughout the year. Pyramidus had no suit actor as it was a mobile in the show. The filming model has been seen on display in Toei's Hero Museum in years past. Warrior Wheel suit actor was Chie Tanabe, and the whereabouts of the suit are unknown. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a notable battle section of this video, mainly because both Zords are really used for finishers, so I feel like that's just going to be redundant. Now, let's move on to the merchandise. Both Pyramidus and King Pyramider have had limited merchandise releases, starting off with both deluxe versions from their respective toy lines. The O-Ranger toy line also had the usual special size version, as well as a mini plot. The Zeo toy line had a 5 inch transforming version as part of its Action Zord line. For Warrior Wheel and Tackle Boy, it's pretty much the same case. They both had deluxe versions, and the Zeo toy line had a 5 inch morphing action figure. That about does it for this video. Thank you all again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please don't forget to check out the other videos in the Megazord Formation series in the playlist link down below. Join me next time as we power up the Super Zeo gems and talk about the Super Zeo Megazord. Until then, be well, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.